Hi, we're Paul and Marie. We're a UK reselling couple based in Southampton in Hampshire. And this is the Turning 10 Old Toys into £2,000 Challenge. Okay, another week, another update. Where are we now? We're at week 16, Han. Can you believe it? It is a flying along, isn't it? 16 weeks we've been doing this. 16 weeks. Look how tired we look. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So if you're new to these videos, the whole premise of this challenge is that we have a daughter who's 20. She's going to be 21 next year. And we are selling 10 of her old toys. And when they sell, we use the money, the profit, take off all the fees and the postage and we just have the profit and we reinvest it into only clothing and shoes that's the challenge to us isn't it hun to learn yes to learn about, about clothing, clothing and, shoes. and shoes that's it we've been doing this now for 16 weeks so mm. where have you been yeah um, <laughs> see me later and we have sold six only six of our original toys have gone hun so we've still got four that haven't sold yeah yeah but they've been We've been turning we've been the money turning around. around. Yes, we've it, been busy yeah. little bees in that 16 weeks. Mm. And so far we have bought 69 items with the profits from those six toys. And we have sold 17 items. We have 52 items currently on sale, on uh, currently for sale on mm. eBay. And why don't you do the kitty hum? The kitty. The kitty Where reveal. The kitty at the moment is £40.72. and pence. And what's the listing value of those 52 items? The 52 items is £1,111.87. So it's building quite nicely. It is building, now, yeah. Now, that money was burning a hole in our pocket, huh? Was yeah, it? Yeah, it was. £40.72p, and we've been out spending. So should we show them what we've got? Yeah. I've got it here, honey. It's oh, this one. big old pile. Oh, there you go. I'm going to put the glasses on for this because yeah. I've written it very small, hun. <laughs> <laughs> so... Let's begin with the Gant trousers, men's Gant trousers. I think we've had some before. Have we had some before? I can't really remember. Well, we'll soon find it's out, so won't we? Yeah. Four yeah. pound we paid for... Ooh, oh, there's somebody at the door. at the door. We might just have to pause this for a moment. We're back. We're back. Had a delivery. We had a delivery. <laughs> we have to deal with a delivery. So back to the video. Yes. Gant jeans, hun. Yes. Four pound. And we will be looking at putting these up for twenty two ninety nine. Yeah, quite cool, aren't they? They're nice. They are nice. They're very, very. Ugh, I can't talk. If you chuck very them on the floor, my love, because you haven't got a lot of yeah, room there, with really all our tats know. spilling all over the place. Right. We've got this lovely lamb's wool jumper. That's the only reason I got it, hun. Ooh, it's Four very pound. Nice. Might need a clean. Yeah. No, that's lovely, isn't it? But we're going to put that out for twenty two ninety nine. Then we nice. have some cotton traders trousers. Oh, try saying that. Cotton traders, cotton trousers. traders trousers. Say it really quickly. Two Ten pound times. we Ooh. paid. Oh, oh, it's not money in it, is it, hun? We're not gonna be that lucky. Is there any notes? Any notes in it? Oh. <laughs> How we got one pound two p? That goes towards the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be a good day, hun. <laughs> Fancy leaving money in the yeah, trousers. Yeah, it's already notes make. in the back pocket. <laughs> yeah, go through them all now. Well, that's good, hun. Oh, so there that's you go. Two pounds, but we've also got a pound and two p. <laughs> We're going to sell them for eighteen, or put them up for eighteen ninety nine. May not sell for that. We're going to give it a go. They, it looks like they've probably been used. Yeah, they're, they're quite nice. Condition. Someone's used them. They put money. Well, yeah, they put money in. <laughs> <laughs> so then we've got this. Hell Bunny skirt, hun. This is a new brand to us, Hell Bunny. Yeah. They do some quite sort of funky styled things. So yeah. I thought give it a go. At the time, I had no idea what they'd be worth. So we paid a pound. Didn't mind risking a pound. No. Um, but we're going to put this up for fourteen ninety nine and give it a go. Yeah. It's got all lipsticks and things like that over. It's quite nice, isn't it? It is lovely. Then we've got this Laura Ashley skirt. Now, I've been looking at this skirt, hun. You know, we've been going all through the summer holidays, going through the charity shops. Yeah. And I saw this about two months ago. Yeah. Um, but it was too expensive, but they half priced it. Oh, did they? And they've got it up for two pounds, so I've got wow. it. That is going to go up for eighteen ninety nine. Excellent. That's nice. Then, hun, we have some mint velvet. This is a blouse that was four pound. It's quite nice, isn't it? Nice colour. Long sleeve. We'll be putting that up for nineteen ninety nine. Then we have, hun, a Bowden shirt. 
nice Bowden shirt there that we paid one pound fifty for. That's going to be going up for sixteen ninety nine. Then hung. How are your arms doing? Hurting. <laughs> Hurting. It's Hurting. like a little workout for you. <laughs> this is now a fat, fur, fat face fat, 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 fat. fat face skirt for a pound. <laughs> I thought it was very sort of autumnal, isn't it, with the cord, corduroy. Yeah. So I thought we'll go for that, and that's going to be going up for sixteen ninety nine. So probably get around the fifteen, fourteen, fifteen pound mark with any luck. And then we have a crew clothing jumper on that we paid three pound fifty four. It will be going up for eighteen ninety nine, and we'll keep our fingers crossed. That's quite nice, actually. It's nice, quite isn't weighty, it? Quite weighty, isn't it? Nice and thick. Yeah, yeah. It's an XXXL X, as well, XXL. so that should be quite popular. It's getting close to my size. So that, <laughs> that concludes um, what we've bought for the ten toys part of our challenge. We've spent twenty three pound there, hun. So as it stands, um, we've spent forty pounds and seventy two p. No, we had forty pounds and seventy two p. We've spent £23, so we have £17.72. But, hun, brace yourself. Have there's we breaking, got, we there's breaking, breaking news. news. <laughs> we've sold something. We're going to flash them up here, hun. Now, we've got a few here. We've sold six items Wow! for the 10 toys side of the challenge. That's six good. items is the most we've sold in one week, I think. Is it? So, here's for, me, for the 10, Ten toys, toys yeah. yeah. So, this is the Oasis Blue Top, hun, that we paid £3.54. It has sold for £13.25. We've taken off the um, the fees and the postage, which leaves us a profit of three of £8.52, which includs the £3.50 initial outlay. Get me, me <laughs> numbers <laughs> all, mixed up. all mixed up there, huh? So then we have the Crew Clothing XXL top that sold for £14.81. We've taken off the fees and the postage, and the profit going back in is £9.33, but that does include the £4.50 initial outlay. So we doubled our money there, Hans. That's Excellent. nice. Then we have these M&S Airflex shoes, Hun. They sold for £22. Now, the profit from that, once you've taken off the fees and the postage, is £16.2p. and That includes the initial outlay of £5. So that's not bad. We've tripled, yeah. tripled our money there. Excellent. Then we have the M&S balloon trousers that we've sold for £21.5p. We've taken off the prof taken off the fees and the postage. Don't keep saying taken off the profit because I haven't. <laughs> um, that gives us a profit of 14 44 and that includes the initial outlay of £6.50. The Dezig the Dezigwool top Dezigwool. Fund, Dezigwool top from last week that we paid yeah. a pound for yeah. has sold for £10.39. The profit from that is £5.17, includes that pound. Mm. And then we have these Wallace T-Bar shoes, hum, with the bling on the T-Bar. They're quite recent as well. Yeah. They've sold for £15.19p. and We've taken off the fees and the postage, and that gives us £10.18. And they only cost us £2, hun, so that is also wow. covered in there. So that is where we are with the 10 toys side of things. So let's give them the figures. We started out with £40.72. We spent £23. And that give us this fee, this amount. Figure, 17.72. And then we've just had the profit, hun, from all of those items yeah. is this much. 64.19. I know, mm. that's not bad, is it? And this is what we're left with. So we currently have a kitty of 81.91. Mm. So, Ooh, so far, spend up. I know, big spend up. So, so far <laughs> as it stands, we have bought 78 items. We have sold 23 items. We have 55 items now that will be listed. Those well, aren't yet, but they will be. On or listed, yes. So this is our kitty hun. So 80, 81 91 And yeah. this is our listing value listing of those value items. is uh, £1,187.09. And so that's, that's what we will currently have listed. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's good. That's not bad. They're not too shabby, is it, for no, week 16? No, not too, not too shabby, no. But now we're going to move on to Miss A's portion of the challenge. Now, if you're new to these videos, um, Miss A is a lovely lady who wanted to remain anonymous. Yes. Not nameless, That's as I say not, every no, week. No, no, not nameless. Anonymous. No, I, 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 I can't um, say that word, but anyway. She <laughs> kindly, <laughs> kindly gave us a box of 30 branded items. Yeah, it's very, very generous. Very generous. And um, by selling some of those items, we have turned it into... Um, into money, bought more clothing, yeah. and so far we have bought 108 items. Wow. We have sold 48 items. We have 93 items listed, 
And you do the kitty hung. The kitty we have, well, we had after we spent some. Yeah. <laughs> it was 119.49. Yep. And the listing value? The listing value is £2,003.68 are the ones that are on, on eBay. Now, the kitty, the 119.49. That is what we've spent, hun. That yeah. pile there. This pile. So if you start with the jeans, I think, and we'll do the shoes at the end. If I move okay, the shoes yeah. over, move the shoes over a minute, then, then you can, can pull it towards me. Yes, yeah, so we've been spending, haven't we? Spending Miss A's money. So we're going to start with these Ed Hardy jeans, hun. Never picked up Ed Hardy before. No. And if you stay with us, the um, next portion of the video is dealing with Ed Hardy, so you can learn a bit oh. more about it. Excellent. So these don't were miss that. no, don't <laughs> miss that. These were three pound, and we are oh, going to list cool, those it? up for. That's it. They're lovely, aren't they? Yeah, they are really nice. List that for forty four ninety nine. Hmm. That's really good. So next time we have the new look leather jacket. Now I will look into this a bit more because when we showed Emily, she said that that was the old tag. So whether it's a vintage oh, okay. one, we need to look into it, hum. But initially. We've paid £3 and we'll probably be looking at putting it up for £24.99. It's, it's, it's a leather jacket. and yeah. But we will look just to make sure that we're not undervaluing it. Yeah. It's oh, nice, okay. it? Nice, nice grey colour. Is that grey? Is needs it? A bit, My eyes are going. Needs a bit of research, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. But then we have these Bowden trousers, hun. £3 we paid for these. They're nice with sort of the zip up the, up the leg. Nice, aren't they? A zip up the leg? Yeah, the, the base. They've got like these little oh, zip. Okay. Zippy bits. Yeah, they're nice. Might be a bit summery, but we'll see how we get on. Yeah. And then we have this Massimo Fabro trousers. I've never heard of it, so I thought, oh, um, it's a way of learning. Yeah. They, they look a bit short, so I wonder if they're like crop star they, trousers. I think they are, because that's what I was just thinking. <laughs> they're quite short. Um, they were £3, and we are putting those up for fourteen ninety nine. And then we have this lovely Laura Ashley jumper, hum. Oh, is it? Is it, it, is it itchy? Bit, yeah, it looks a bit vintagey. I don't know whether it is or not. We'll have to look into it that. It does look like that, doesn't it? But it, it? was two pound ninety nine, and we are putting it up for twenty eight ninety nine. Bit different, isn't it? Mm. Quite like that. Yes, yeah, nice. Then we have this mint velvet top, hum. This has got party season written all over it. Look. <laughs> it has. So this was three pound fifty, and we're going to put it up for nineteen ninety nine. Quite cute though, isn't it? It is Lovely nice. Lovely colour. Yeah. It's very weighty. Yeah. It feels like this. It looks like body armour. Yeah, it does look like that <laughs> chain mail, doesn't it? Chain, is it chain mail? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? So then, hum, we have a white stuffed skirt that we paid a pound for. A whole pound. Look at that. Yeah. Lovely with some sort of black boots. Look at that. Sort of got a velvety feel to it. Yeah, it has, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Nice winter skirt. Yeah. A pound, you can't believe it, can you? I know, it's crazy. So then, hum, we have these. Now I'm so hoping. Did you figures for this one? Um, I don't know if I did. No. Sixteen ninety nine. Just in case I didn't. We, we paid a pound. Paid a pound. We're gonna put it up for sixteen ninety nine. Yeah. Yes, that's because I've been having a bit of a wobble about how to pronounce this. Oh, <laughs> thinking ahead. Thinking ahead. Thinking, oh, every week I end up looking all right, idiot. Right, okay. Um, I might just mention about Alan Starbuck, who kindly um, helped us out with Gabici. I know he's not been well this week, so we're sending all our love, aren't we? And we hope, hope you're okay. And thanks again for letting us know how to say Gabici. Gabici. We sounded ridiculous last week, didn't we? So let's have a look. This is Joe, I think it's Jojo Maman Baby, something like that. <laughs> it's French, I think. I, I didn't give it a French accent then. But it, it's the gist of it is they're maternity jeans, hum. And they were £3, new with tags. Wow. So they will be going up for £24.99. Yeah. Cute, aren't they? They are. So then we have, hun. The fat face chinos that we paid one pound fifty for, and they will be going up for nineteen ninety nine. And nice, aren't they? Nice colour. See how we get on with those. Then we have Charles Tirrett. Every week we seem to be buying Charles Tirrett shirts, don't we? Yeah. One pound fifty. These were. Yeah. Good price, weren't they? Mm. We're going to put them up for eighteen ninety nine. See how we get on. Yeah, just a standard sort of yeah. plain shirt, really, isn't it? It it's, is. It's nice. And then we have another Charles Tirrett shirt for one pound fifty, and the same price, eighteen ninety nine. And then move these shoes near you, love. Then we 
have these M&S shoes. They were three pound, and we were going to put them up for sixteen ninety nine. That's a good condition. Mm. And then we yeah. will finish hun, on these East shoes. I didn't really know about these, but I thought they were quite cute. You know, party style shoes. They're sort of embroidered with sequins and yeah. beads on the front. Very pretty. And they were one pound fifty, hun. So we're going to put those oh. up for sixteen ninety nine. I thought you couldn't leave them for one pound fifty. No, you can't. That's it. Gorgeous, aren't they? Sort Not too of cru bad on cruise the Cruise ship shoes. Cruise ship shoes. It's another one you got to say for cruise quickly ship ten times. Cruise ship shoes. Yeah, they're lovely. Mm. So that concludes what we've spent for Miss A's portion of our challenge. We've spent thirty one pound forty nine there, hun. Ooh. So as it stands, we have. A kitty of 119.49 and we've just spent £31.49 of it, which leaves us with £88 left in the kitty. Wow. But, hun, breaking news. Wow. Breaking we've sold news. a few bits. So let's start with this lovely Reese Burgundy jumper that we sold for £14, hun. Um, we had a profit of £8.66, which includes the £3.50 initial outlay. Then, hun, we had these Rohan Sun Protective Trousers which sold for £18.39. We took off the fees, we took off the postage, and that leaves us with £12.26, which includes the £4 initial outlay. Then we have these Gant Navy New Haven trousers, which we sold for £17.93. The profit from those was eleven eighty eight, which includes the £5 initial outlay. This is a nice one, hun. The vintage St. Michael cardigan. That's that mm. itchy, scratchy that cardigan itchy, yeah. <laughs> from yeah. a few weeks ago. That has sold for £19. Um, we've taken off the fees and the postage, and that comes to £12.77 profit, which includes the £1.50 initial outlay. So that's quite a nice yeah, one. That is a nice one, yeah. But the star of the week, hun, is this toast dress mm. that sold for £43.99. Extremely quickly. It did sell very quickly. Um, we've taken off the postage and the fees and that's given us a profit of £32.85p which covers the uh, or really includes, includes the £5 yeah. initial outlay so that's yeah. not bad is it? Yeah, yeah. Not so bad this, at all. Um, this amount here hun is the amount of profit we're putting back in. Oh, £78.42. So when you add that to the £88 kitty that we had, this is your new kitty, hun. Hey, £166.42. It's we're starting to, do, to build. We're going to have to do a lot of spending next week, <laughs> hun. I can't, I can't wait. I'm already looking forward to that. It's definitely building now, isn't it? But the yes. listing value as well. I mean, that's... Um, um, sorry, you want me to reveal that? Would you like to yes, reveal no, that? Yes, no, you reveal so the listing value. Yeah, so the current items on there... Um, is two thousand one hundred and sixty-three twenty-five. I'm just realising yeah. I haven't added up the. <laughs> I haven't added up the figures. So I've just added it up then. So as it stands, we have a hundred and twenty-one <laughs> items, and we have sold forty-eight. 49, 50, 51, 52, 53 items. Look at me being professional. Yeah. Um. So we have. Oh, I've got that skull. Not about to work that out, hun. Yeah, you work right. it out. So it's a apology. <laughs> Sorry about that. I We're back. I haven't added up some of the things and... <laughs> the figures were all over the place. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, everyone. I thought I'd done it. I thought I'd added it up. And then when I looked down and it was all blank, I thought, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so let's resume. We So far, we have bought 121 items from Miss A's portion. Um, we've sold 53 we have 101 items listed. Obviously, those ones aren't listed yet, but they will yeah, be in a couple of be, days. Yeah. Yeah. Can you do the kitty and the listing value? So the, the kitty... Oh, well, I've already done that, haven't I? I oh, know, but just refresh. Refresh. Go on, give me another refresh. <laughs> so the kitty is 166.42, and the listing value of all the items that are on eBay or will be on eBay, 2,163.25. It's not bad, is it, hun? That's not bad at all. I will double check next, next week to make sure I've filled the right bits in. <laughs> I do, do, do a little spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's where we are for this yeah. part of the challenge. Um, and now we're going to move on to our research. Let's hunt. move the Let's figures move away. <laughs> away. Maths isn't my strongest thing, is it? So I've got Sorry, to move it back because it's got my research on it. So as we said earlier, we were looking at um, Ed Hardy. 
Um, come across these Ed Hardy jeans in the shop and they were £3. And I think if they would have been £8, I probably wouldn't have picked them up. But because they were quite cheap, I thought, well, it's the way of learning. Mm. Um, so we've had a look. And Ed Hardy is an American tattoo artist born in 1945 and known for his tattoo and strong influence on the development of modern tattoo styles. There you go, honey, I didn't know that. Yeah. It's unusual, isn't it? Mm. In 2003, the artist was approved was approached, he wasn't approved, he, he was approved, approached <laughs> by two men who saw his artwork in a magazine and they ran an Asian influential casual wear brand and they began the, the began to be the first to put his Hardy's images on clothing. It's all gone to pot, <laughs> it's all gone to pot. <laughs> what it is, we haven't had enough coffee. <laughs> it's quite early in the morning, hun. We should, we should, <laughs> sorry, so we can't film at night because we're worn yeah, out. Yeah, we we can't, can't do it in the morning because we're not awake. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Anyway. And we can't do it lunchtime because we're hungry. So no. I don't know when we're going to film. No. So anyway, we thought we'd talk you through Ed Hardy and show you because, um, let's say, we picked those up. We, yeah. We've sort of put a price of forty four ninety nine on them. I have sort of grabbed that out of the air a little bit, hun, because mm. some of the prices are going, some of the jeans are going for like £120. Right, so okay. firstly, I do need to make sure it is, um, you know, authentic. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've tried putting in the images and Google lensing it and everything. Haven't come up with the exact same jeans. So okay. we'll do a little bit more research. Yeah. But I'm thinking, you know, if we could get £45 back, we would be quite lucky, oh, yeah, I yeah. think, on £3. Mm. Um, we're going to show you some other items that have sold um, on eBay. So you can have a look at some of the styles and some of the things and some of the prices and see so that if you are out and you recognise, I mean, it's very distinctive, some of the artwork. Mm. Lot, lots to do with skulls and embroidery yeah. but we thought we'd show you so you can keep an eye out for it because some of the prices are quite steep so let's start hun with these embroidered jeans from 2007 they have sold for 90 pounds plus three pound 35p wow i know i think it was very big especially in america yeah um and they are very distinctive so i think that's why they've gone you know why their prices are so good mm. these are even more hun these are baggy embroidered jeans and they've sold for £120 plus £3.35. P. Oh, yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? It for is pair crazy, of jeans. yeah. If I had those, I wouldn't want to wear them because I wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't want to wear them out. That's it. <laughs> so then we have some embroidered men's relaxed fit jeans for £45 and £4.45 postage. But it's not just um, jeans that go, hun. I've also selected here, I picked out a mini skirt just to show you that skirts also mm. have a bit of value. We sell quite a lot of skirts. We do a lot of Bowden white yeah, stuff skirts yeah. and they normally go for just around the 20 or just under. But this jean skirt here, this mini skirt has sold for £40.23. Wow. It's a quite a strong price yeah. for a little skirt. And then we're going to finish with this eagle skull snake motif jeans. And they had an offer taken, but they were originally up for one hundred nineteen ninety nine plus four forty five postage. So hopefully that's given you a bit of an idea of um, some of the artwork, why they are quite collectible. Mm. Um, so we will definitely be keeping an eye out oh, for yeah, Ed, Hardy. Ed Hardy. And it's so yeah. nice to have a brand that I can actually pronounce. Yes. Because every week I'm <laughs> every murdered week whatever. <laughs> All these Italian brands, brands <clears throat> and that are just, yeah. you know, struggle. Especially in the mornings. In the mornings, yes. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is move on to something that I like to do when um, I can't really think of an idea for the video and I can't really think of who to, you know, we've covered all, you know, bold and white stuff, fat, but we've covered a lot, haven't we? Yeah, we in have, these 16 yeah. weeks, we've done a lot of research. So what I sometimes do is when I'm sat, sat with a laptop on my lap, I think, well, I'll do a bit of research, but what into? And I just will put in something like ladies, ladies dress or ladies jumper and I'll just look on solds and pick something that's gone for over £20. And this week I've picked a, a company um, called Marina Rinaldi. Now, I've, I've never heard of no. Marina Rinaldi. No. It was a company that was founded in 1980 and it's a ready to wear plus size women's clothing brand of the Italian Max Mara Fashion Group. Thank mm. the Lord, hun. Something I can actually fit into. <laughs> <laughs> now, as, an, as a cuddly, I'm going to not use the F word, <laughs> as a cuddly lady, it is so nice to see some clothing for cuddlier women um, because we all need clothes too. So um, these, a lot of these are um, made of things like cashmere and wool and they're very good quality. 
but I've picked out some lovely things, hun, because the prices are really good. And yeah. even though I've never heard of it before and I've never seen it, um, it's something I'll definitely be keeping an eye out for. So it's Marina Rinaldi. Um, and it's just nice that there is more of a range for the cuddly woman mm. because a lot of high street stuff you you know you can't fit into yeah. um, and then some of them <clears throat> that you can fit into they're just massively expensive so let's go through some of these prices all the, the things I'm showing you are pre-owned prices so um, they're all second hand this is a plum cardigan hun size 24 plum cardigan and it's sold for 19.99 plus £4.50 postage we do look out for plus sizes in the charity we do, shops, yes. don't we? Yeah, definitely. And we do find that the larger sizes do sell quicker than mm. the smaller yeah. sizes. So it's I always start off at the bigger sizes and work yeah. down to the size yeah, eight. Yeah, well. um, so now we're going to show them a floral print dress which sold for forty four pound fifty plus five pound ten p. So as you can see, quite strong prices for for what you're seeing. Mm. So. Um, Let's move on to this grey wool dress. So it makes a difference with the material. This is a £115 hum. £115 <coughs> plus free post. Perhaps I won't be wearing any of it then. No, that's it. <laughs> Chance of me it's getting any of it slim. So I've chosen this short sleeve wool top. This sold for £27.95 plus £3 postage. So again, it's the material makes a difference, I think. Yeah. And we're going to finish on another wool item. It's a purple wool blend tweed jacket, hun. £75 plus £4.20 postage. So that's nice, isn't it? Mm. So definitely be looking out for that sort of thing. And sometimes in the charity shop, if you saw um, a jacket, it might only be up for about £10, £10 £12. Pound. Yeah. So sometimes we're put off by those higher price things, aren't we? Oh, yeah, definitely. But it's but... knowing, you know, if you can remember the brands, then you sort of know you can get in the 40s, then... You don't mind paying £10. No, it's got a good rate of return, isn't it? It is, definitely, yeah. So yeah. we will definitely be keeping an eye out for Ed Hardy jeans and Marina Rinaldi plus sizes. What a diverse mix <laughs> we have for this week's research. Yeah. Um, but it's all going okay, isn't it? Yeah, We're it's, it. It, it's, yeah definitely. It's, it's moving on. It and is. It seems are, to, you know, the, um, the kitties are building. increasing and building. Yeah, so we are starting to get to a point now where we're seeing... Sort of both the um, the listings and the kitty yeah, moving up at the same time. Up. So the house is yeah. full up with clothes. There are piles of yeah, clothes everywhere, a lot of clothes. which is a little bit of a nightmare, a little bit stressful. Um, can't don't quite have enough time to work on it as much as we'd like because we've yeah. got our other things that we're doing, our other yeah. eBay business, yeah, um, non clothing business, non clothing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing a lot of juggling at the minute, <clears> um, but no, it's. Um, you know we're getting on okay aren't we yeah it's moving forward quite nicely so um as always we want to thank you all for all your lovely comments um people take the time to leave us comments don't they they do yes. willing us yeah, to, yeah. To, to do better yeah <laughs> <laughs> and showing their support so um as always we just want to say thanks ever so much for watching yes thank you thank you for taking the time to watch our challenge video and if you liked our content Please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications for future videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you.